Hey everyone, Renium T here, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean till the end of time. The last part, we got through Kadan, got the sacred orb, and found out we need to head to the ancient ruins of Mazale, and we also picked the Padre. This part, well, I'm gonna kick things off with some item creation. Oh boy. So, I forgot one inventor. Well, there's a lot of inventors available, but there's one key inventor that I really would like to pick up right now, but to get him, we have to make the item for him. So, in order to do this, we are going to need two of our best alchemists, which I believe is Sophia and Misty Lear, and also either Pepita or Eliza. Now, I recruited Eliza a long time ago. She's currently sitting in my curl set, one of my curl set facilities. So, you either need Pepita, or if you don't have Pepita, you need Eliza for this. So, what we're aiming for is an alchemy under, not that, under, for Pepita it's 12 to 13, for Eliza it's 11 to 12 for the cost. So that's what we're aiming for, and this may take me a few tries to get it. Oh, I got it right away. There is 12. So, now, this item, under these conditions, has an 80% chance to be made. With Eliza, it's a 10% chance. So, this is a benefit to Pepita. Thankfully, it's not super expensive, so we aren't gonna blow the bank. Aha! We got a third try. We are looking for the Philosopher's Stone. Not accidentally. Said Philosopher's Stone, says symbol last part. Didn't even think about it. So, we need the Philosopher's Stone. Why? Well, I'll see you guys in Aquios in a moment. I keep saying that in those last few words. Gosh darn hell for you. Now, here in Castle Clary, High Cliff, we are wanting to go into uh, this room because my life has been filled with riches and fame. What could you possibly give someone such as me? Show him the Philosopher's Stone. Yes. Did you make that? Hmm. Let me take a look at it. Give him the Philosopher's Stone? Please take a look at it. You are very promising. I might just devote the rest of my days to imparting all my knowledge upon you. This is Ansala. He has 99 alchemy. Now, basically the reason why I'm getting him here is because I want to make some more orish alchem to put on my weapons, to, or put on new weapons so I can get better weapons and, you know, that fun stuff. But because that takes a while, I've already gone ahead and done all of this, so I'm just going to throw him into a random one and sign them like so, and go ahead and swap to my safe already prepared that has everything all made, and if we look here in my equipment, I did not upgrade Sophia, I don't know what I want to do with her yet, so I'm just kind of leaving her be, she's kind of just my healer. But I've given her the gravity laser, which is basically like one of her best weapons, if not her best weapon. Uh, with 2,000 attack, so four aura chalcum, well, one aura chalcum refined on multiple times. And she has the laser weapon because I didn't want the other effect, and this gives me more room. Also sets it up for other people. So, there's also a couple other things I want to do here. I want to just jump in here because to show you basically what I did. So I've kind of cleaned out, cleaned up this place a little bit. And so I've got um, Ansala in here. I moved some others over to Kurosa. Just kind of threw them over there. Because we don't really need them here. And I'm just slowly transferring everything over to Kurosa that I need. Also. Anyway. We head over here. There's a couple more people I want to pick up just to just to have them for basically the post game whenever I get around to that. There's no time left for my daughter and me. I, how about some money? Oh my! With that, I might be able to I have it. So I did spend a bunch of money. It's fine. We're kind of rolling in it now. So feel sorry for your daughter. You can have it. Now I should be able to help my daughter. No, I mean I will help my daughter, even if I sacrifice my own life. 
to ask you this after you gave me all that money. If something were to happen to me, would you please take please look after my daughter? Please take care of my papa should I die from my illness. I'd like you to make sure he doesn't starve himself to death. Number one thing, whatever may happen, don't dare lay a finger on my daughter. Um, uh, well, this is an interesting thing here. So, these are crafters. These guys are crafters. So, I'm also gonna, I'm gonna toss them into Curlsa B. Yeah, Curlsa B. So, there's one more I want to pick up, and it's in Surferium. We're actually going that way. So, yeah, I'll be there in a moment for you guys. So here in Surferio, we want to head into this first shop. And head to the back. Hello. I love money, so shiny and sparkly. It's, it's pretty, that's why I like it. People give me the sparklies. That, that's why I decided to be in the mentor. How about 82,000 full? Oh, look at all the sparkly things. Give me, give me, give me, give that to me. I have it. Ah, oh, my money. Is this a contract? Not really. Understand, really. But sure, why not? People give me money are good people. You know, I want to make a tower of money and live at the top as a top. I'm small, so it's okay. So this is Chilico. She's, a, she's one of the better crafters. And she's kind of required for a pretty good item we are going to want to make eventually. I'm not going to do it yet because it, it's going to require a lot more money than I currently have. So... It's also going to make us a little too overpowered. We already are getting back to being overpowered, but we're near the end. That's fair. So anyways, I'm also going to toss her in the curl subby. And that signs her. Now, I just want to note something in here real quick. I didn't pick it up yet, but if you talk to this guy, the killer chef, the chef, bleh, tee hee hee, bones are so high, what I really need is a really sharp knife. What he's looking for is a keen kitchen knife, which is for sale in Gemini. So if you want to head back to Gemini, which you can via the, the terminal, the thing in the Pearl Sire Hills, then you can do so and pick that up for him. But I'm not going to worry about it yet. I'm not that worried about getting him right now. Anyways, I need to heal up real quick. <laughs> My little injured. No, maybe dead. Because uh, things were a little hairy trying to get here. It's fine though. It's fine. We shot things to death. So, with that healing up here, I just save it real quick. Both of our cards. Which I think if you've been following along by now, you know what this means. We have a boss coming up. We didn't have enough bosses last episode, I guess, guys. Because we have another boss coming. Aren't you so excited? Anyway, let's head out. And head back into... I guess not really. It's been a while since I've been in here. But head into the Passage of Emparch. Templementi. Now, I don't actually remember if this place gets new enemies. I want to say it does... I don't see why it wouldn't. It definitely does. All right then. Which is unfortunate. This place was a really good leveling spot. So we've got snakes. So as you can see, we are a little stronger now. Oh gosh. This thing will not leave me alone. There we go. No, you're not attacking me. Thanks. Not attacking. What I'm gonna do is fail to juggle these enemies. Thank you. So the enemies are still people taking a bit to die. Which is fine. Which is fine. Rather not fight too much in here though. So he's still here. Um totally didn't restock on items, did I? Gonna have to do that. At some point. It's fine. I can do that between parts at some point. Um, <laughs> anyway, since I have large life, blah, 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 blah. it just says the same nonsense as before, but once we head through here, oh, 
Oh, the heat isn't relenting. Whoa! Oh, come on. So this is Chimera. Chimera is a thing. We are probably going to MP kill it. We may not go. So, he has some attacks you didn't want to watch out for. There we go. One minute without taking damage. We did take damage, just not in the character of control. So we got a war god symbol out of that. And our battle trophies. So yeah, that's Chimera. You want to watch out for his attacks. It can be really painful. I remember when I was doing my uh, no items and no item creation challenge. This guy took me a few tries. So I think if I remember right. Anyway, you're back in the Moseldians. And there are new enemies here. I'm not sure if it's just the same ones as in the passage. I want to say it is. But I'm not 100% sure on this. Also, Balbados is still here. I can pick him up on the west side. And they're spending my money. Okay, we do have new enemies. Those probably were in the passage. That's another one of those angel type things. And. Let us. Not run right into that thing. And we've got another Chimera shill in here. We are just going to walk around that Chimera and save it here. Because saving is good, right? Right. I agree. Saving is good. So let's do it. Uh, I'm gonna save down here just in case. And... Let's head back into the ruins here. So, everything's still the same as it was before, much like the dawn. And, of course, we have the new enemies chilling around here. Which I'm still not gonna play with. Thanks. So, let's just head up here. And you probably know where I'm going with this, right? We were here before. I chickened out. I didn't really chicken out, just didn't want to deal with it at the time. But, I guess I'm saving it again. Yes, I do this, okay? I save a lot. Anyone who's been watching me for a while should know that I like to save the game. Um, yes. Just throw enough by the time, but it's fine. What the? Uh... Hi... Hi? So this is Stone Golem! Thought we were done with bosses. We are never done with bosses, folks. So Stone Golem is extremely slow. I do not want to do that. Ah, oh, my damage. I took damage. I'm taking more damage. Oh my gosh. Stone Golem's actually hurting me. So, as you, like I said, this guy is really slow. So, it's not too hard to deal with him. And there you go, within one minute. That was yeah. Right. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, you get 20,000 experience. She learns explosion. It, we all level up. Everyone's happy. Because I decided to hit his shield, I took damage. Oh, yeah. So, let's heal. Pack up. Um, I'm gonna find fairy light. And I'm also going to turn off all this nonsense, Sophia. Excuse me, Sophia. I did not give you permission to have all this. Thanks. Actually, 
What I've been meaning to do on her is go ahead and take these off. I think let's go with deep freeze. So if I do that, then I can't give her no guard, and I want to give her no guard, so I guess you can keep ice needles. So I really need to spend some points here. Let's go ahead and go defense and MP. Attack. Because I really need to boost her attack. And attack. And let's heal up. And then we'll be on our way. After I save it, of course. Because, like I said, I save the game a lot. That's how I am. 